Hi boys and girls, and welcome to another story time. I am really excited about our kids' time today. What do you think of when you hear the word power? Do you think of big muscles and strong people who can lift really heavy things? What about a big humongous motor or engine, like a race car or a jet or a rocket ship? What about a great big thunderstorm with lots of lightning and thunder or a huge wave? You know, watching this wave reminds me of a verse in Psalm 29 verses 3 and 4 that says, The voice of the Lord echoes above the sea. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty sea. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. There are a lot of things that we can think of that give impressive displays of power. While people certainly have invented a lot of powerful things, the most powerful forces in the world are the ones that God has created. Forces like powerful storms, volcanoes, winds, waves, these are incredibly powerful and pretty much unstoppable. But you know, even these kinds of powerful things are subject to God because he created them. God is the most powerful of all. He is the strongest and mightiest, most powerful being in our entire universe. Things like strong waves or lightning and thunder are actually there to remind us of just how powerful God is. Psalm 147 verse 5 says, Great is our Lord and mighty in power. We call this being omnipotent. That's just a big word which means all-powerful. Perhaps you've heard the story of how Jesus, who is God in human form, calmed the storm when he was on earth. It actually happened more than one time that the disciples were in a boat on the Sea of Galilee and a storm came up, which terrified them, and they thought they were going to die. The wind was fierce. The waves were coming over the side of the boat. One time, Jesus was actually sleeping right in the boat, and they woke him up, and he just said, Peace, be still, and the whole storm just stopped. Another time, Jesus came walking on the water toward them in the storm, and Peter walked to him on the water. Jesus calmed that storm too. Like the verse we just read from the Psalms that says his voice echoes and thunders over the sea, we know our God is able to calm very powerful forces by just the words of his mouth. Jesus displayed his power in many miraculous ways when he was on earth. He showed that he was stronger and mightier than any sickness or disease when he healed people. He showed that he was stronger and mightier than evil spirits when he delivered people who had evil spirits living inside of them. He showed that he was stronger and mightier than the devil when he overcame temptations and defeated sin on the cross. And he showed that he was stronger and mightier than death when he came alive again after three days. Sickness and sin and death are very powerful bad forces, but Jesus defeated every single one. Wow, he's so powerful. He is omnipotent. But here's a really amazing thing. Even though Jesus is so strong and so powerful and so mighty and so awesome, he created you, and he knows each one of you, and he loves you. Someone that strong and powerful could just live up in heaven and point and give commands and order people around and zap them if they don't listen. But Jesus isn't like that. He wants to come near to each of us to be our friend and to help us. And in fact, he also wants to share his power with us so that we can overcome sin and live lives that please him. On our own, it's very hard not to sin and do things that break God's laws. Sometimes we might use our mouths to tell lies or speak unkind things to people around us. Sometimes we might use our hands to hit others or to take something that doesn't belong to us. And sometimes it might just be bad thoughts that we think in our heads. And many times, we feel as though we have no power to stop doing those things, and we can get discouraged. 
But the amazing thing is that Jesus, being all powerful, can give us the power to do what is right. The Bible tells us in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, that by his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know him. This means that God gives us just what we need to do what is right. This is what it means to live a godly life. It isn't always easy, and we need to ask him for help sometimes. But guess what? He is on our side. He wants us to make right choices, and he's helping us the whole time. It is pretty amazing that the one who is all-powerful is on our side, and he will help us. If you've never asked Jesus to help you to do what is right, do that today. Go to your secret place and ask him to help you to speak what is right, to do what is right, and to think what is right. Thank him for being on your side. And the next time you see a big thunderstorm, a really strong wind, or a big humongous wave, you can think of how much power God has. Remember that there is nothing too hard for God. Think of what he can do by just speaking a word and then remember that he has the power to help you overcome sin and be more like him. Thank you so much for joining us this week and we look forward to being here with you again next week.